grand final, but it's the qualifying final last year, and it was the West Coast Eagles against Collingwood at VFL Park, and you can see the Pies trying to break their premiership drought, led by two goals at half-time and just by two points at three-quarter time. And I suppose you can all remember pretty well, it's so fresh in our memory, what happened in the last quarter. Interesting that Peter Sumich just last week had a kick from about the same spot with a different result. Exactly. It was a goal this time. We all remember his uh, point of last year that uh, possibly stopped the collie wobbles from happening again. But uh, this time he chose to use the top. Sorry, he chose to use the boomerang kick. Whereas last year he took the uh, option of the drop punt, which went through for a point. So uh, he's obviously learned his lesson. Just shows you can learn and uh, different uh, result altogether this time. So let's take you back 12 months. 12 months to Verfield Park and the qualifying final. We pick it up at the start of the last quarter, a thriller between the West Coast Eagles and the Pies. Final quarter now from VFL Park in the qualifying final for 1990. Lewis, who kicked that miraculous goal in the third quarter, a short kick out to Turley. If in fact he can get there first. He almost got him to the back of his opponent. Lamb gives it back to him. You have to get around Russell. Does so, but it's a high kick. Only travels about 30 metres. McGrath involved in a wrestling match back there. Who's going to get the free? Craig Kelly, I would think. Kelly goes short. Jamie Turner's OK. After copping that heavy knock right in the three-quarter time siren. Gets around Waterman. There's a one kick and kick one goal. Tony Shaw off the ground. Not a well-directed kick. McKenna really had his strides ripped off him. Great tackle by Gavin Brown. He's won the ball. Lewis... Late on the scene, should be a goal coming up to the Magpies. Stasovic, centering kick. They must mark it here, but they can't. Pios in front of Malay. Malay at full forward, two point for this last quarter. At the worst roll until at the Rance. The Rance, it is Rance down there. Out of bounds. Not on the full, despite the appeal. And we'll see a boundary throw in. Taylor still sitting the bench with Mick McGon. It's going to be Laurie Keane to contest with Big Manson. Now things turn around. Michael McGuan on the bench now. Here's Warsfold, the hand pass straight to Barwick. Hard against the boundary line. He promptly kicks it out of bounds on the full. McGuan could be injured, but 17 possessions in the first term. Hardly any sense. Pios out of the back pocket. Hugs the boundary line with a kick. Waiting behind is Barwick. Sends it back in. Stasevich couldn't control it. Waters has played very well in the second half. Got it to the run of Brennan, who comes through midfield and main wearing. Timely check, then breaks away. Kicks inside the attacking 50. Kelly's there for Collingwood. Played on. That was ambitious. Now McEwen. They had the numbers. Gaper. McEwen again. From right half back towards centre wing. Turley. He's done well. Close to the boundary line, Craig Turley. Was it out of bounds? Yes, it was. The boundary umpire right on the scene as Richardson was breaking away. Steve Malaxa still on the bench, Dennis, and spent a lot of time there this afternoon. Keane and Monkhorst. Run down by the latter. Russell. Francis. Both have done well. Monkhorst in the grasp. Now Waters. Well shepherded by Hart. Close to the boundary line, he proceeds to kick it out of bounds on the floor. So mistakes will start to creep into this game. Two very tired sides will be out there at the end, given the way they've gone at each other. Here's Tony Shaw. 23 possessions so far for Shaw. Higher one towards the wing. Keen over the top, Turley. Does well in a tight situation. Barwick, though, goes back and gets it. This is Richardson around Hart. Scrambles a kick forward inside the 50. Worsfold comes to meet it. Does brilliantly. Mullane's got the run of it. Close to the boundary line. Upended. Gained about 15 metres. Lambs over the ball now. First goal in this term will be crucial. Dacos got it to Francis. He's like Quicksilver, Tony Francis. Not a good kick, though. Across the face of goal, Manson and Rance, and Rance gets it out of bounds, and will have a throw in. Collingwood supporters to a man looking for out of bounds deliberately against Murray Rance. Would have been hard there. Would have seen worse play, though, I must admit. Against Tony Campbell at Subiaco. That was a good one. And the 
the Demons were over there. Could be a goal that Dacos, if he can pick it up like a piece of soap. Back to Mullane, who fires 35 metres out. Won't quite get the distance. Manson looking for a free kick. And arguably could have got one. That would be umpire would be the centre of attack, uh, attention, though, as he throws it in. Manson and Keane. Back to back. Keane. Lamb. Monkhorst at the back. Couldn't tag him. Lewis and Shaw. Nowhere for him to go. Not too much support for Chris Lewis. Turley out wide. Barwick in pursuit. He's picked out Hart. And Hart marking in front of Richardson at left centre wing for the Eagles. Needs to get it moving quickly. It's out of these eyes. Too slow, David Hart. Wasn't too much on offer, to be fair to him. McGrara. Heady. Can kick well. Directly in front. Sumich likes it. It's a goal. The Eagles in front. Seven Sport Mitsubishi Motors Mark of the Year. Your phone vote could win you a Mitsubishi Magna. Dial the phone number on the mark you want to vote for. Mark 1, Peter Somerville Essendon. Mark 2, Brett Allison, North Melbourne. Mark 3, Stuart Lowe, St Kilda. Mark 4, Derek Kickett, Essendon. Mark 5, Dale Lewis, Sydney. The winner of the Mark of the Year will also receive a Mitsubishi Magna. You have until 4pm today to register your vote. The first person to save for a rainy day was smart enough to take two of everything. So if you're saving right now, why not take two as well? An extra 2% per annum with the bonus saver account from Westpac. No other bank gives you a bonus 2% interest when you're saving for a rainy day. Hey, haven't seen you since you left town. My girlfriend. We got married. I'm happy for you. She left me for a truckie. Now I'm even happier. Having a be? Yeah. Melbourne? Sure. Something else I remember. Yeah? It's your shirt. <laughs> Millions of jets, helicopters, planes, trains and trucks go when they're low on fuel. The same place you do. BP. BP. On the move. Coles have reduced over 6,000 items in every store across the state in line with our new low price policy. A policy that goes far beyond weekly specials and cash cuts. This is not a one-week wonder. This is a long-term commitment to lower prices. The Coles new low price policy is here, okay. and it's here for good. A dreaded visit to the dentist... I laugh in the face of pain. ...becomes an experience of pleasure. It's a work of art. She's a genius. Has Harry met his match? Don't be late, Harry. A woman who'll finally trap him. I'd like to talk to you about something. And a decision stuns Doc Elliott. I've made up my mind about the baby. A Country Practice, Monday on 7. All the action of the NBL Final Series. Take a courtside seat for the heart-pounding excitement Sunday at 12. Exclusive to 7 Sports. If you believe in fairy tales, the Eagles lead by four points. Keen intercepted by Wright. The high kick towards half forward. Going back is Stasevich. Knocked away by Brennan. Taken by Hart. Hart swings it out wide. Turley again. He's done very well. He leads in the race out there. Well done by Barwick to give a contest. It's out of bounds and will be thrown in. The official attendance today, just under 60,000. 57, 546. Deceptive. They've spread out in the sunshine. Keen. Very nimble. Well done by Lamb. Lewis. All the time in the world at half back. He can run it out. 
There's more run in the legs of the Eagles at the moment. This is Brennan up through the centre. They're enjoying this. A long kick towards half forward. Gafer fell over, as did his marker there, Waterman. McEwen dragged down by Waterman. White's got the run of it. Monkhurst, strong tackle from Sumich. Well played, McEwen. Slapped it out towards the wing. Storming up the ground with courage was McKenna. Francisco went down in the tackle. White appeared to be held. There was no free kick. Turner, Monkhurst over the ball. This is relentless. Turner, well played. Got it to Francisco. Francis has been a star. A high kick towards centre wing. Brown goes back and that is a splendid mark. Eyes only for the ball. He breaks away. Kicks towards half court. It's a high floating kick. They wait an eternity. Warsfold smashes it away. Pios measures the hand pass. He needs to be quick. He is. Storming up the ground is Warsfold. Nobody's near him. He picks it up. He runs towards half forward. Back goes McGrath. Almost the mark. Play on is the call. And we'll have a ball up. Uh, no mark. Mike McGrath expecting to be paid that mark, but I don't think he held it. No, I agree with you, Bernie. Another grab might have got it for him. Let's have a look at it again, McGrath. It's the first grab. Another grab, but never controlled it. No. Kick Collingwood's way. Lewis goes the punch. Likewise, right. Mullane, who wasn't full forward a moment ago. Tony Shaw from right takes the hand pass. Gaper at half back. Chips it in short. Not a well delivered kick. The bounce favours Brennan initially. Socket away by Hart. Barwick could have got a free for a push. Richardson with composure at centre wing to Gaper. Gaper out wide. Stasevich, fresh air shot. Russell oh. to Barwick. Holding the ball. That yeah. was terrific by Waters, wasn't it? Yeah, great stuff. The whole West Coast Eagles team in this last quarter have really lifted themselves. Well, Waters had a great third quarter. He was certainly one of the players that really brought the Eagles back into it. Kemp. Haven't seen too much of him this afternoon. Punch away by Francisca. Didn't work really. Goes into the arms of the Eagles. The tackle down there. Waterman comes in, dives on top of the pack. The Eagles looking the fresher team at the moment, but we've still got 16 and three quarter minutes left in this match. There'll be a few bookmakers sobbing their breasts at this stage, Dennis. Uh, yeah. Five to one. That didn't get me. On first. Waterman. Lewis, is that a mark? Yes. He snapped it up. Millimeters from the turf. And you'd have to say it'd be a chance of kicking it. He'll be pretty well right on 50. 17 kicks for Chris Lewis. He's turned them around again too, Pete. And that goal he kicked, Bernie, wasn't it? Uh, it was a gem. Oh, fantastic goal. But playing in the centre, Brian Taylor looks as if he's warming up to come on the ground again. I need something up there. Lewis, 50 metres out. To the city end goal at BFL Park. That might be there. It's a goal. Chris Lewis is second. And the Eagles 12th. They lead by 10 points. Well, this looks like a fairy tale coming true for sure because the West Coast Eagles without a supporter over here in Victoria. And yet they've uh, played a tremendous brand of football. Chris Lewis has run uh, Tony Shaw and Mary Dance in the centre and finishing off with a brilliant long goal there. Brian Taylor is back on the ground. The margin is 10 points. It seems it's the Eagles to lose. It's up to them now. Langdon caught for holding the ball. Can the Magpies come back? There's a man who can bring them back. Tony Shaw alongside the centre circle. Kicks towards half forward. Brennan gets it on the ground. Francis has run his heart out this afternoon. A tidy hand pass back to Shaw. Kicks for distance. It's not a good kick. Main wearing. Up from half back. Lewis is running. Langdon is on for the next kick if Lewis can keep it alive. Langdon now has to come up and assist. Francisca did superbly. It's out of bounds and will be thrown in. Lewis is hurt. Gavin Francisca out number two to one. He won that battle. But at the present time, Collingwood are losing the war. Manson away to Shaw. Cleverly played to right. The speedster run down from behind by Hart. That's holding the ball. The one-handed punch will not do. That's a great tackle by Hart. The tackling has been very impressive today, Dennis. They are inspired, the Eagles, at the moment. Hart's kick out of a tired man. The half volley. Yet he couldn't control it. 
Away they come again. Shaw got it to Mullane, who swings it out wide. Stasevich up towards centre wing. Lewis seems to be OK. Stasevich, long kick. The sun is a problem down in that area. Taylor from behind. All Eagles. Hart, done very well. Goes looking for Turley. Turley has won that war as well. In trouble this time. Russell held without it, surely. Kemp goes in. Russell will get the free kick. Too far out to score, one would suggest. Scott Russell, 65 metres out. Taylor. Wouldn't take the mark. He's just come back onto the ground, remember. Guy McKenna. Did well. He'll have to kick it now, and he does. McKenna looks for Kemp. Turner beats him to it. No, he doesn't. Kemp does well. Hooks the ball back to Turley, who marks on centre wing. Not on the logo, Turley keeping it wide, the target, Carl Langdon. He has to beat two off, and the boundary line might be a trifle close, and it will be thrown in. 13 and a half minutes left in the match. Left half forward flank for the West Coast Eagles. Next goal crucial, Dennis. Yeah. It is very the, crucial at this stage. The Collingwood's chances particularly. Manson and McGrath. Manson thumps it to Hedy. Turner. Might have been touched off the boot. Lamb, Mark will free kick. Good courage, Dwayne Lamb. Tremendous. Especially with that arm. Only, you say, recently broken. It was against Melbourne when he was accidentally kicked by Jimmy Steins. Not a well-directed kick. Manson over the top. McEwen. Mullane. Mullane at right half back. It's Collingwood out of danger. They need some goals quickly, the Magpies. A juggle, but no mark. Waters was in there. Couldn't handle it. Stasevich paddles it out the back. Pios. Amazingly. Got the ball out of a lot of players there. Oh. Langdon in front has lost out. That's holding the ball. Lance sure. holding the ball, yes. No attempt to get rid of it. What was the mark played then? Well, the umpire called play on. Why? Well, Langdon touched it first, I think. OK, didn't fair enough. I think he did, but having called play on, the umpire then decided it was being held to him. Here's the bounce. Francisca smothered. Gets his second chance. Drives it to midfield. Stasovic trying to deflect it down to Brown, who does well. Looking for Wright, who keeps it going. He's out number two to one, though, Wright. Tripped. He'll get the free kick. Wright's on centre wing. Collingwood trailed by ten points. This is Mullane. Seems to be up the ground again. Taking all the time in the world, Mullane. A high kick in the Taylor direction. He's out in front of Rance. Timely fist. This defence has been superb. Warsfold to Waters. Close to the boundary line to Turley. He's been resolute to Lamb. He'll settle on centre wing, Dwayne Lamb. 12-10 to 10-12. Lamb. Hugs the boundary line. Langdon needs support. Hetty, hurried kick. Yeah. Kelly drops the mark and fell over. Now he's in trouble. Manson, well played by the big fellow. Got down and picked it up well. Kicks it back to centre wing. Main Waring's in front. Right forced to spoil. Out of bounds and will be thrown in. We have just over 11 minutes to play. And it seems there's a new contender in the Premiership race. Yes, and Collingwood... Still goalless in this final turn. Pretty warm conditions today. Richardson runs straight into Langdon and for his efforts gets a free kick. He wants to get the ball moving quickly. Great tackle by Langdon. It spills for Krasiska. Ball slewing off the side of his boot. A marking contest. None paid. Dacos has taken a little bit high. Centre and kick from that player. Taylor. Oh, yes! What a catch! seen it very often, Pete, but Brian Taylor there with a one-on-one uh, -on -one contest into the forward line with Murray Rance. And Brian Taylor getting the front position, using his body superbly, and in the end taking a great diving mark. Terrific mark. So Brian Taylor, kick number five for his first goal, has hit the post twice, both of those in the first quarter from the pocket, but directly in front now, should goal and does, four points the difference.
most amazing behaviour by Taylor after he kicked the goal. Exactly. Yes, well, Brian Taylor, of course, uh, spent a bit of time on the bench. Let's have a look at that mark again. Murray Rance couldn't do anything about that. So Taylor just using his big body to advantage. And uh, kicking his first goal for the afternoon. He's kicked one poster and a couple out of bounds. Brian Taylor, no love lost for Chris Lewis. 78 to 82. Taylor's first goal, a kick in it at VFL Park. Waters out of the centre of the qualifying final. Up the half, forward. Almost a mark, not paid. Waterman paddles it in front of him. Opposition from uh, Gaifer checking in closely. With the ball tracked across the boundary line. Nine and a half minutes left in this match. And what a thriller it's turned out to be. Lee Matthews on the phone. Simply be a little bit worried that goal will certainly help the Magpies cause. Gaifer and Langdon. Gaifer, is he holding the ball? No, says the umpire. And it's going to be balled up about 30 metres from the Eagles' goals. And Tepper's becoming a little bit froth. Still bright and sunny. That doesn't match the dispositions of a few players out there. Malax is back on the ground, in trouble. Now right. Deep in his own defensive area, breaking away, kicks out wide. Barwick is storming up, so is Brown. Brown the first to arrive. Stasevich hooks it across his body, down towards half-court and Dacos. Dacos and Roars fold. It's going to be a free kick to Dacos. No play goes on. Warwood over the ball, back to Brown. Brown the chip pass in short. Over the top comes Pios. Elaine was in front. Awkward situation for Elaine. And Pios got it out of bounds. So we're down to 8.20 remaining in the game. The Eagles lead by four points. Keane, Shaw, dragged down. Stasevich goes in, and we've got a whistle. Kelly off McDonald. Craig Kelly to the dugout. It's been a great game of football, this one. Not a lot of goals, but... Ferocious football from both sides. Richardson over the ball. Harris there by Hart and worried out of it. Now Hart comes away. He's a speedster. He's on centre wing. Kicks towards half forward. Sumich on the lead a long way up the ground. McEwen kept his head superbly, then lost it. Now he was leg. McEwen will get the free. Waterman was goal bound. Yeah, it would have been a goal for sure to the Eagles. McEwen. In short to shore. It really is a game of centimetres now. Just a little luck required. It could go either way. Turley over the top. Manson with strength. Mullane likewise. To the run of Francis. The crowd at fever pitch. Francis pumps it in. In front. Oh. Taylor was interfered with Shirley. Yes. Free kick there. Over the shoulder against Murray Rance. So we've got the unlikely hero. Brian Taylor. A chance to kick his second goal in the last five minutes. And if he does... Collingwood will be back in front. There's a free kick again. That first instance, that left hand of uh, Murray Rance over the shoulder, across the chest. Definite free kick to Brian Taylor. Brian Taylor. So long in the seconds this season. Kicks and kicks truly. The Magpies lead. It's 12-12 Collingwood. The Eagles are 12-10. And probably don't even deserve to be there because really the West Coast Eagles have been by far the better side in the second half. Brian Taylor taken off the ground early in the game. Here's a free kick again in replay. Murray Rance all over the top. And Brian Taylor probably a surprise that he was even brought back onto the ground. The Magpies coming home with a wet sail. Two points the difference, Collingwood leading two goals to Taylor in the final term, Manson taps down, good tackle by Francis, Keane, might have got a nudge in the back, likewise Francis, Lewis tries to pick it up, plenty of pressure out there, but how unlucky were the Eagles when they had that break just about three minutes back when McEwen got the free kick, could have been a certain goal, then Collingwood goes up and gets one to Taylor, plenty of time for them to come back, thumping punch away by Manson, Sean, well tackled. Ball spills for Manson. Tackled by Lamb. Manson again. Tackled by Lamb once more. Barwick. Kicks long over his shoulder. McKenna. Takes the hand pass from Rance. Lewis. 
Langdon. Will it bounce for him? It does. Lamb. Not too much distance with the kick to half forward. Gafer, safe mark in defence. That's what Collingwood needed. Kicks past Hetty. He's gone out wide. And Graham Wright doesn't let him down. In front of Langdon. Bowen on the run. Keeps going. Curly won't catch him. 65 metres out. Mammoth kick into the square. A mark taken by Guy McKenna. He's not wasting any time getting the ball moving. Great bump by Darren Malay. In comes Brown. Collingwood lifting. Brown right on the boundary line. Back to Malay likewise. Dacos nearly runs out of room. Oh. He's goal! Magnificent goal. Peter Dacos, the champ, 13-12 to 12-10. Well, I can't believe that goal from Peter Dacos. We saw a great goal early in the game by uh, Chris Lewis. But I think that goal certainly matched it. Kevin Brown making the most of that mistake there from Guy McKenna. And Collingwood certainly lifting a banana kick, wrong side of the ground. That is magic stuff from Peter Dacos. Well, we've seen two of the goals of the season today. Peter Dacos getting that one. No coincidence. Brown, Mullane and Dacos involved in that last goal. Short through the centre. What a good kick. Hart's got it in traffic to Turley. Given the way they've played today, the Eagles will come back. Gaper, almost a spectacular mark. This Collingwood defence has been superb in the last 10 minutes. Morewood, win it again for Francisca. A long, thumping kick back towards the half-forward line. Stasevic, fickle bounce. Away comes Brennan. Boots it back towards the Eagle half-forward line. Heddy's in front. Francisca, superbly over the top, pissing away. Right, has it at half-back. Back towards centre wing. Valiant attempt to mark there from Francis. Controlled the half volley and got it out of bounds. I feel the game swung the other way again, Dennis, too, yes. in this last couple of minutes. Momentum is back with the Magpies. There's the time remaining. Keen wrestling. Main Waring, an opportunity now. The Eagles need a goal. Main Waring back into the forward line. Sumich is in front. McEwen comes over the top. And out of bounds goes the fist. There is no question the West Coast Eagles have proved today they can play in this company, particularly at BFL Park. They're going to be hard to beat from here on in, regardless of the outcome today. Not a good hand pass from Kelly. Malaxis will get a free kick on the 50-metre line. Plays on quickly. Lamb. Batterwood Sumich. Knocked away by McEwen. It's out of bounds and will be thrown in. Boundary throw in. Michael Malthouse looking pensive. The margin is eight points. They need to make something here. Langdon, the snap is good. Two points the difference. What an amazing finish to the qualifying final. 13-12 to 13-10. Sure is, Pete. Not to be denied the West Coast Eagles. Great stuff. Carl Langdon getting that snap from the boundary throw in. Let's have a look at the replay again. Laurie Keane, a tremendous tap down from him. And then Carl Langdon, without a real lot of pressure being applied by the Collingwood defenders. So the next goal, crucial in the qualifying final. Under three minutes left in the match. Two points the difference, and that's what the West Coast Eagles got beaten by here when Melbourne got the better of them two years back. Crowd looking for a free kick, there was none. Must come out of the centre. Morewood. Lamb. Gets cannoned into by Wright. Kemp taken down. And it's going to be a bounce at half forward for the Eagles. 2.34 and counting. Can the Eagles get the next goal? Terrific finals pressure there from both sides. A tackling fantastic. Crowd certainly getting its money worth, money's worth this afternoon. Keane taps down. Turner, short kick. Main wearing. Will it sit for him? It does. Over the top. Got to get it down quickly. Brennan's kick to half forward. Waterman. Ducks the tackle. Ducks two tackles. Can he score a goal? He's missed. Shades of Murray Renstead. Oh. Two minutes left. One point the difference. He swung the ball across his body there too, Dennis. He probably had time to really settle and have a uh, direct shot at goal. It's a real nail-biting finish. Under two minutes left. The clock static until he kicks back in. Ron McEwen. 
time wasted until the ball comes back into play. Goes for distance and gets plenty of it. Big pack of players there, thumped away by Manson. Chance for Turley. And Mainware. Mainware's kicks loose off the side of the boot, out of bounds on the floor, and that's a break that the West Coast Eagles did not move. And they just hold on to the ball just that fraction too long there, Chris Mainwaring. And the clock continues to run. It's down to 1.33 now. Interesting if we hit a draw, Dennis. Well, it's a possibility. Down the Eagles' end. Possession vital here on this next play. In front, Manson almost the mark. Francis keeps it going Collingwood's way. That could be the telling one. Brown got it to Morewood. He kicks towards half forward. Storming up the ground is Warsfold. He keeps it in front. Needs to release it and does. A oh, superb play. Kept his head. We're down to 105. Turley through the middle. Long kick towards Hetty. Chris Siska misjudged it. Sumich nudged out of it. Payne Waring's got it. Kicks it down towards full forward. Keane is down there. Ball is running free. We're down to 50 seconds. Hard against the boundary line of the line. Robert Wiley gets in the play. And we've got a boundary throw in. He's helping for it with two, Dennis. Old habits die hard. <laughs> so we've got a boundary throw in in the pocket. A goal here, and the Eagles will win. We're down to 35 seconds. A behind, and we've got a tie. Langdon, hoisted high. Back goes so much, and he's taken the mark. Oh. I don't think the Eagles can lose from here. It's a question of whether they can win. Well, it's just a question of accuracy now from Peter Sumich. Clock ticking down. He's in the wrong pocket. This could be a kick after the siren job. He'll take his time. The umpire's called time on here too, Dennis. He has. So the clock is frozen. It's 17 seconds. Now it continues to run. It's down to 14. If Sumich kicks the goal, the Eagles are into the second semi-final. Peter Sumich. It's missed. missed. It's a tie. It'll be a draw. It is a tie. There's the siren. It's a draw. The sensation. A draw. Now don't ask me where that leaves us. Laurie Keane shakes his head. I think the only people rubbing their hands would be a jolly. I think it leaves us with a busy weekend next weekend. 13 12 apiece. Shades of 1977 when North Melbourne tied with Collingwood in the grand final. What a game. What a game. A draw, dead set level, 13, 12, 90 apiece. And Peter Sumich last year couldn't quite do it. Naturally, the uh, Pies went on to win the replay and went on to break their premiership drought and make 1990 a premiership year after their last flag was in 1958. Well, Peter Sumich certainly learned something from then to now. and He, he kicked the goal last week and uh, he's topped a century this year, but he couldn't quite do it last year. Now, he's a far better player than he uh, was last year. And, of course, we... We see tomorrow that he's going to be in for one of the biggest moments of his football career and uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see him produce some special goals tomorrow. Speaking of special goals, how's that one by Dakes? Unbelievable. It was an unbelievable goal. Possibly one of the, one of the greatest goals ever kicked in 100 years of football, but he's kicked a few of those again this year, some of those impossible ah. goals. The man is just a freak with a football in his hands within range of the goal sticks. If you just... Walked in through the turnstile, sort of got lost on your way to somewhere else, walked in and saw him do that, you'd say fluke. But we've all seen it so many times, it can't be a fluke. Yeah. Well, I think I've seen it 15 times this year, so uh, yeah. the, the fellow is beyond belief with what he can do with that ball. He does make it talk. Yep. Yeah. Righto, we've got more finals, grand finals coming up. But uh, this year, like last year, we have a viewer competition and there's plenty in it for you while also looking at the marks of 1991. The player who takes the mark of the